Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about season one, episode two and three called The Changeling. In the beginning of the episode, Emma personality change. She becomes depressed, angry, upset, and lost. This is some of the signs of postpartum depression. She goes to someone's apartment with her sister to pick up a bag, which is some chains. Then six months earlier, Emma starts to disagree and questions whether this is even her son or whether the entity cradled in her arms is human. She's bombarded by texts featuring photos of Apollo and Brian that Apollo didn't take. These disappear when she tries to show them to Apollo, who is bewildered by her behavior. Apollo bonds more with Brian than Emma. It starts off with the baby not latching to Emma, and when the baby bit her, that's when she's starting to realize that something is wrong. She goes and finds a group on social media called the Wise Ones, like a mommy's group, which explains a little bit more in episode 3. Six months later, Emma starts having more sleepless nights, and Apollo suggested therapy and medication to help her, which it made it worse for her. You see not only her personality changing, but her appearance. She was losing weight, bags under her eyes. It felt like this episode was an emotional journey for Emma, as being a first-time mother, wife, and now experienced postpartum depression. We learned the truth about how her parents died. Her sister told her the whole truth of how their mother set the house on fire. I thought this was a very sad story about Emma's parents. Then towards the end, that's when Apollo and Emma relationships had changed and Apollo doesn't believe her regarding the text messages or when she stated that it's not her baby. Throughout the episode, she never called the baby by his first name and that had really triggered Apollo. And then Emma leaves out the door. I thought episode two was good. It fleshed out the character, Emma, this episode gave me Baby Ruby and Mother. Both movies analyze a mother's perspective. Make sure you check out both films. They are really good. I would give this a 7.5 out of a 10. Now, on the third episode of Changeling, as you know, Emma has changed completely. She seems possessed and she tells Apollo that Brian is not her baby. Strange events had took a toll and the baby passed away. Apollo was released from jail. It shows a flashback where he brought a shotgun to the library where Emma used to work at and was prepared to shoot her. Because what she did to their son and you can see the pain and hurt. He goes to the park where the other fathers take their children. They don't want him around anymore, which I think that was messed up because he didn't harm his baby, Emma did. So I thought, that scene was just ridiculous. I think that in my opinion, Apollo need all the support that he needs and I'm glad he has his best friend and his mother. Apollo continues to have these nightmares, which is actually memories from his dad, which he's still alive according to his mom. I wish that the mother explained why she had to leave Apollo at the house alone when he was young. Maybe he wouldn't be upset, but I didn't understand why she didn't tell Apollo about his dad. Then Apollo goes to this group meeting and one of the women explains how she keeps seeing her daughter that is not there and how someone kept sending her pictures of her and her daughter and deleting them. Her husband didn't believe her and suggested medication just like what Apollo did to Emma. Then the woman talks about the wise group that she joined on social media and stated that a person named Cal will help. Towards the end of the episode, a man that was part of the group video record a lady earlier and Apollo watched it and asked what is the wise group. The guy looked it up and gave the phone to Apollo and he realized the wise one is witches. So in episode 2 when Emma was putting foil on the windows and told where she learned that from which is the wise ones group. So let me give you a little history and a little bit of background of it. The wise ones were the tribe that valued intelligence and fair, equal treatment above all else. Those who could use magic, like shamans and witch doctors, were the most respected members of the wise ones society. Despite being peaceful people, the wise ones council mandated that half of the tribe youth be trained in combat. Young ones who show strength and deterity were trained in a physical combat by those who demonstrate wisdom and intelligence were taught to harness magical powers. This led to all wise ones appearing as tall, 
strong, muscular, or lean and scholarly people with no individual appearing as something between the two extremities. The peaceful tribe understand that they were surrounded by hostile jungles and rival tribes such as the Sambari and knew that defending oneself was required for the tribe's survival. My question to you guys is, do you think that Emma was part of a witchcraft? I think she was. I also think that a person named Cal maybe is the leader to the wise ones. I thought episode 3 was okay, it focused more on Apollo and gave us a little bit more of a background story and his trauma in the present day. I will rate this a 7 out of 10. Let me know your theories and if you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and until then, see you later.